Well, the um, the Abilify uh, doesn't seem to be working. Um, it was going good. Um, I'd gone up to. I was doing okay into. I got up to five milligrams. I was doing all right. And um, then one day I tried seven and a half. And then a couple days after that, um, it was actually. When I went to see my psychiatrist, uh, when I was in the waiting room, I was really kind of dizzy. And then I saw him, and um, we had discussed um, going up to trying 10 milligrams because the 5 milligrams wasn't touching my depression, so needed to go up so I went home and when I got home I was I felt like I was poisoned just really weak and sick and I wanted to just go to sleep I couldn't go to sleep because I was in so much well so much pain but so I was confused as to what was causing that and uh, so I thought, great, you know, maybe it's not working. <laughs> and I thought maybe it wasn't, maybe it wasn't working because it, I was taking it as I was taking the Zyprexa, but I don't have a choice. I have to take the Zyprexa with it until I get a higher dose. So, um, So I don't think I'm going to be able to take Abilify, which might be okay. I'll just go back to, I'll just stay on the Zyprexa. And I was thinking of taking four milligrams of Zyprexa instead of the five. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. I, I was just trying five milligrams one day and then two and a half the next so I was going five two five two because if I take five every day then I'm just a zombie and I'm just so tired and do not feel well but it's it keeps me from being being catatonic and just being super depressed and just wanting to die so Zyprexa is a miracle drug and Maybe that's what I need to stick with. So that's what I'll do for now, I guess. But you know me. I seem to change my ideas or change my ideas every week or something. <laughs> I'm so inconsistent, it's not even funny. But um, it's really confusing my wife. My wife's to the point now where she just thinks I'm always trying new things and things are always making me sick and that's the way she sees it and that's it's understandable very understandable because she just wishes that I could find something that would just just she just wishes that I would find the right drug and that I would that it would uh, lead to my happiness um, uh, there's something funny, something interesting that she said. She's, I forget what it was, but uh, anyway, so that's what I've been doing. And so I guess uh, Abilify isn't for everybody. And we'll go from there. And I hope that at least I don't feel too bad because I know Zyprexa helps. But for those of you who haven't find, found anything that helps just keep trying keep trying as many drugs as you can you know start out low go slow if they don't work they don't work try a new one if no drugs work you know after you've tried 10 then try shock therapy 
Um, shock therapy was a horrible experience for me and it didn't work at all and it gave me PTSD but you know what I'm glad I did it because if I never did it I'd always be wondering um, if I should try it and I'd always be wondering well what if I did do it because if it does work and you wouldn't need to take meds that would be awesome I wish it, I wish that's how it was for everybody that everybody could just, just do shock therapy and not have to take meds. I was also thinking, um, I think it would be really cool if uh, drug companies invented a drug. Well, not, not a drug, but invented a chemical so that the half-life was like weeks um, without having to take a lot of the drug. So, you know, you take a drug and it stays in your brain and works for a long time. And so you would only need to take one pill a week or whatever. I mean, it's not really that big a deal that you have to take a pill every day, but just that would be really that would be really convenient and really cool. And hopefully that would drive down the cost of drugs. But I don't know science, so I don't know how that would be possible. I know that I have read that other drug companies are trying that so